Happy Saturday, everybody. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Our first break of the day is 2017 Panini Limited Football. It's a five-box random team break number 15 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. All teams are in. There's that right there. No, the business change will not be banning me wearing this Raiders hat. Or, or uh, the Raiders hat. I'm wearing my Daughter's hat today. Uh, let's roll the dice. So I, had to, I had to look at myself. It's like, what hat am I wearing today? Six and a five, 11 times. Oh, the Dodgers are doing great. Beat the Nationals today. Who cares what happened the last month and a half? One. You got to do this 11 times. One, two, three, four, five. They're going to beat Max Scherzer tonight, too. Six, maybe seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11th and final time. We've got Chris K down to Chris K. Six and a five for the teams. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. The final time. Random.org's been running slow all week. And what's going on there? Niner is down to the Jets. All right, Chris K with the Niners, David Kiss with the Texans, Aaron, you got the Giants, uh, Mike Tower with the Bengals, David Kiss with the Patriots, Anderson, you got the Redskins, Mike McCarthy with the Panthers, Mike Cody with the Colts, uh, Sen Yin with the Seahawks, Michael Gallucci with the Bills, Jeremy with the Jaguars, Chris with the Lions, David with the Vikings, Jimmy with the Chargers, Eric O with the Browns, Sam, you got the Steelers, uh, Mike McCarthy got the Dolphins, Eric O with the Eagles. Mike, you got the Cardinals. Eric O with the Saints. Mike Thomas with the Chiefs. Uh, what if Michael Thomas got the Saints? That would have been great. Mike Coons gets the Buccaneers. Jeremy got the Titans. Sam Roll with the Falcons. Mike Thomas with the uh, Ravens. Jose, Last Spot Mojo, Dallas Cowboys. Nick Sanderson with the Bears. Johnny with the Broncos. Willie with the Rams. David Kiss with the Packers. Raiders. Chris, you got my Raiders. And Chris K with the Jets, Jets, Jets. Let's sort by team. And any trades, here are the last five boxes right here. No more after this at the moment. Anderson's got the Redskins up for trade. Eric O's got the Browns up for trade. <laughs> Brian's offering $1.50 for the Browns. No, the Browns are worth at least $19.99 in this break. They're worth at least 20 bucks. Here are the last five boxes right here. We'll try to get some more of this stuff. I was limited was a pretty strong release this year. All right, doesn't look like there's going to be any trades, so let's do this. Unless we do Browns for Redskins. Otherwise, we'll go. What do you think, Anderson? Otherwise, we'll make this break happen. You'll take the Browns? All right. Our Redskins for Browns are confirmed. In fact, I'll actually change it on this sheet right here.
All right, so Anderson now has the Browns. Eric, you now have the Redskins. And we now have a break. Trade window officially closed. All right, let's do it. There you go. Uh, Rusty, or Platypus, or Brian Dunn, is saying that the Browns eight wins this year. That's what I've been saying, Brian. That's That's been my hot take. I agree with you. I'm glad we're on the same page. If one were to bet a couple pennies, you know, a penny or two on Browns' win total... I would take the over. I think the what, what is the Browns' win total this upcoming season? I have this written down somewhere, but I th I think they can. Uh, Browns' win total is five and a half. Got to take the over on that, right? Oh, you know what? I I actually totally forgot. I was gonna watch that. I totally forgot that the. At the uh, FA Cup final was today. All right, Terrell Suggs, Cam Newton, Jameis Winston, Blake Bortles, and looks like a Titan, Taiwan Taylor, three color patch and autograph at a two ninety nine. Jeremy Cole with the Titans. Giants, I would take over as well. The Giants are, uh, well, according to Westgate, about a month, about a, about almost a month ago, actually. I don't think it's changed that much, but they say it was uh, six and a half. I take the over on that too. Troy Aikman, Big Ben, Teddy Bruschi, and. Julio Jones out of 25, and Matt Stafford, game day rally, 24 out of 25. You can look that up, see how he did that day. Uh, Bears are, Westgate had Bears at 6.5. That, that's a tough one, I think. That's not as clear to me. I think they'll win like 6 or 7. <laughs> I think that one will be close. And there's Julio Jones. All right, Mike Evans, Marshawn Lynch, Fitz, Landry, and Jamal Adams for the Jets, 70 out of 99. Uh, for this break, yes, we ship everything in this break. For higher end sets like this, there's not very many base cards, so everything goes. It's only in breaks like Bowman baseball or like regular contenders football where base cards wouldn't ship just because there's so many so many comments. Um, I actually don't know who's uh, specifically favored to win the AFC West, but the Denver Broncos, Westgate has them at seven wins, Chiefs eight and a half, Chargers nine, Raiders at eight. So that kind of gives you an idea where they, where they think. Yeah, they pro probably think probably the Broncos or the Chargers. I think I'm not sure actually. And we've got Deonta Hightower is your autograph. 7 out of 35, team trademark for David Kist and the Pats. I think actually the Chargers really have the best chance. You know, they, they were they were they were actually pretty close to having a really nice season. Remember their first four games last season? They only they lost by like a field goal. Thirty out of ninety nine, Blake Bortles, and there's Alex Smith. And with the Chiefs, there's no there's no Alex Smith. They're changing quarterbacks. 
So that could always be a wild card. Raiders have a coaching change. That's a wild card too. You don't know how the Raiders are going to um, kind of respond to that. It could be a transitional year for both the Chiefs and the Raiders. New quarterback in Denver, that's a transitional season. So I think it's kind of all, it's all up in the air, I think. That Chiefs uh, relic goes to Mike Thomas. Marvin Jones, Mark Brunell, Alshon Jeffrey. Thanks, Alshon Jeffrey. I always have to thank him for winning me that Super Bowl prop. And Jamal Williams is your rookie patch autographs. That's a Packer, right? Jamal Williams is indeed a Packer. That'll go to Green Bay. David Kist. Packers, there you go. Um, Jose saying that you uh, think the Broncos average six sacks a game? Probably. I told I, I told you guys the uh, I think I told some people yesterday. I don't know if you heard Jose, but uh, we were at the uh, team. Jaspies was at the. Um, was at the NFLPA Rookie Premiere, right? We were there a couple days ago, and I met Bradley Chubb, told him I was a Raiders fan, which he seemed disgusted. Uh, and I, I told him, listen, Bradley, I know you're going to get yours, but um, but when you, sack, when you sack Derek Carr, just go easy on the guy. You'll still get that sack number. All right, there's some limited ink. Three out of ten, Mel Renfro. Limited ink autograph for Jose and the Cowboys. Last spot mojo. Nice. Uh, dude's asking, wait, when are you doing the Bowman HTA case break? A, it's not a case break. It's a box break. You got to pay attention, dude. And B, when it sells out. I don't think it's sold out yet. Unless it's sold out in the last five minutes. While I've been doing this break. Marshall Falk, Brett Favre. Travis Kelsey and Icky Woods and a redemption. It's bam. James Conner rookie patch autographs for the Steelers. All right, next one. Jason Witten, Andy Dalton, Larry Fitzgerald, Mark Burnell to 49, and game day relic, Antonio Gates. 41 out of 75 game day swatches. Antonio Gates. Saw him and Eric Dickerson on NFL Network doing a, uh, a tour of the new stadium here in LA. Which I wonder if I, can I take a bus tour? I want to take a tour. Um, New stadium here in LA looks kind of amazing. NFL Network's moving their studios there too. They're in Culver City right now somewhere. But that should be pretty awesome. Looking forward to traffic being being an S show every Sunday there. <laughs> this or next fall. I no, twenty twenty. Not even this season, a couple seasons from now. Carlos Hyde, Kirk Cousins. Jordan Howard and Alshon Jeffrey reveal a Cameron Hayward limited ink. Nice, 19 out of 25 for the Steelers. That goes to Sam with the Steelers. Uh, Eric's asking, the Raiders won't have the same aura moving to Vegas. What kind of aura are you suggesting? Eric Jennings, Cow uh, Broncos fan Eric Jennings. Harrison Smith. Dude, the it's not a case break. It's a one-box break. There's Davis Webb. Some Giants fans, including Rusty, I think may suggest that Davis Webb is the answer in the post-Eli world. 
Hall of Famer Eli Manning. Black Hole. I think the Black Hole will be there. It'll exist. Raiders. There's Raiders fans all over the world. All over the all over the world. And those and and those guys are like. 26 out of 49, Marcus Mariota, and Demarius Thomas, 25 out of 75. And those guys are actually like lawyers and accountants and finance guys, rich dudes in San Francisco. <laughs> they'll travel. They'll, they'll check their bags. They'll bring the gear. For the Broncos, that'll go to... I'll go to Johnny and the Broncos. I'm sure there are goofy people in Vegas who'll wanna, who will want to dress up, go, recreate the black hole down there. I think it'll be fine. A lot of people, a lot of, a lot of Raiders fans still here in LA. They'll go and travel to Vegas. They'll wear their gear. They'll do it. Dude seems to be really confused. Then the case break that filled last night, or was that for the Angel? Yes, that was for the. Watch the video, and you'll and you'll know, my friend. There's two different things going on, dude. There is the 12 box hobby edition of Bowman Baseball. That's a pick your team break, right? That's where we did the Angel spot random. We did the spot random for the Angels where we can get the Angels for a fraction of the price. The one box break of the Jumbo that's on the site right now with the three autographs inside, that's a random team break. That's a completely separate break. It has nothing to do with the, pick your, the 12 box pick your team break. Amari Cooper, Joe Mont. You, all you gotta do is read. You, all you gotta do is read. Marshall Fogg, and then you'll be good. Brett Favre, and behind that, Hassan Reddick. 24 out of 25, Arizona Cardinals. Mike McCarthy. There's a Hassan Reddick to 25. A couple more packs to go. This is our. This is the last of limited football, ladies and gentlemen. But we'll try to bring some of this back. I always, I'm a fan of the limited football. We do have contenders optic football on the website right now. If you want to get that going, 59 out of 99, Icky Woods and Deonta Foreman, rookie phenoms out of 99 for the Texans. David Kiss with the Texans. And the next one. Uh, Jermaine Curse, Matt Stafford. Let's sleeve up that Icky Woods, too. There's Hall of Famer Eli Manning, Philip Rivers, and Redemption. It's Evan Ingram. Of course it's Evan Ingram for the New York Football Giants. He's actually a really exciting player to watch. Aaron Monzone with the Giants. Aaron with Big Blue and gets Big Playmaker, Evan Ingram. If that entire team is healthy, think about that. There were a lot of injuries on the Giants last year. If that entire team is healthy, Odell Beckham Jr. is healthy, the other receiver dude healthy, Evan Ingram healthy, Saquon Barkley, healthy Eli Manning. Even, even their, even their, uh, even their uh, offensive line, that, this, that, that's the offensive line right here. Even the offensive line, who seemed to be not good in the first part of the season actually did a lot better towards the end of the season. Could be a, could be a nice sleeper team right there. All right, folks, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks very much, everyone, for watching Limited Football. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.